Hi, hi. Good evening. I hope your weekend has been fine. I'm known as Teacher Mark. You can see there. My name is Teacher Mark. I teach of mathematics. Uh, in this evening, I saw his wife for the phone call. They take this supper of mathematics, longitude and latitudes. So I'm on straight to talk about the distance along the small circle. As you can see, I have my objective. So my objective is that by the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to calculate the distance between two points along the latitudes. Other books, they call latitude small circles. So that is the same thing. So that this objective is the only objective we want to cover during this weekend. So let me introduce what is a latitude. So you can see here, these horizontal lines, this is the globe about the earth. This is the map of Africa. And we also have other uh, continents. You can see behind there, you will have Europe, there's USA from the other side. Now, latitudes are these lines that you can see uh, that are uh, across, these lines are running at, across the globe, so we call them latitudes. So this is what we call the latitudes. Now, how do we calculate the distance between the latitudes? How do we calculate the distance between the latitudes? So we have types of latitudes. The largest latitude is what we call the equator. Equator is passing around Nairobi, and the equator basically almost subdivides Kenya into two parts, whereby you have the northern of the equator and you have the southern of the equator. So we have said that the equator is the largest uh, latitude. Now, let us see some formula for finding the small circle. So this is the arc. You can see this is the arc here. So this being the arc, my main focus is about a small circle. Uh, let me call this small circle here latitude uh, L. Latitude L, and this is the equator. Normally, the equator is zero degrees. So that's what we have, the angle of the equator, zero degrees. Now, uh, I want to know how do I find the distance between the points along the small circle? Remember, that is our objective of today. Now, how do we measure angles from the equator? So we measure the angles from the equator by positioning the protractor here. Let's say this angle, this angle is, uh, let me call it uh, alpha. Let me use that symbol. So that means this latitude, that means this latitude here will be uh, this symbol degrees north of the equator, north of the equator. That is how we name the latitude. So angles are always measured from the equator northwards or southwards. And then where the line of the angle meets the earth, we call this latitude uh, using that angle, which we have measured from the equator. Now, uh, I want to extract something small here, something very small. So let me extract this figure. So the figure I'm going to extract is this one here. So I'm going to have the radius of the small circle and the radius of the equator. Mm -hmm. So, and then the two are connected together. So they are connected together like this. So, and then I'm going to draw this, this line joining the two. Let me joining the two like this. So now, what we do next is we, we bring down this angle. The angle is uh, alpha, this angle here. 
let me call it using this symbol here. And then remember, the red die are parallel. The red die are parallel, you can see here. So using geometry, this angle and this angle will be the same because they are alternate angles, because they are alternate angles. Now, what is this? This is the same as the radius of the earth, this one here. This is the radius of the earth. So now, how do we express the radius of the small circle? The radius of the small circle in terms of the radius of the earth. So what we do, this is adjacent, this is hypotenuse. So we simply have a triangle that looks like this. So simply have a triangle that looks like this, whereby this is the radius, radius of the earth, this is alpha, and this is the radius of the small circle. So this is what we are talking about here. You can see here. Now, using Sokatoa, using Sokatoa, using Sokatoa, you can see here. Now, the, here this is adjacent, this is hypotenuse. Therefore, the trigonometric ratio we use is this one here. So we are going to have uh, cosine, cosine of that angle, of the latitude angle, will be equal to adjacent, which is the radius of the small circle, hypotenuse, which is the radius of the equator, or the radius of the arc. So making small r the subject of the formula, I'm going to have small r will be equal to r cosine, cosine, cosine alpha, that angle here, let me write properly here. So this is a cosine alpha, this one here is cosine alpha. So that's how we find the angle between, between, that's how we express R in terms of the radius of the R, cosine alpha. This is a very important point. So why do we express all the latitudes in this format? It is because uh, all different latitudes, they have different red eye. So it is because of that reason, we have expressed the radius of the small circle to the radius of the earth, because the radius of the earth is normally known. So now, now if I want to know the, the if I want to know class, the distance along the small circle, this is the small circle as you can see here, this one here, if I want to know the distance along the small circle, from primary circumference of a circle, circumference of a circle is 2 pi, 2 pi r. But for this small circle from here, from equation A, from equation A, but from from equation A, we have radius of the small circle equals to the radius of the earth cosine of the latitude angle. Therefore, therefore, we can have we can have a circumference of the small circle equals to two pi two pi r cosine of the latitude angle. So this is a very important uh, equation when we are going to talk about small circles. So I want to give an example very fast. <laughs> I have an example here to give. So let me, let me erase here. So, I want to give an example very fast. Example, example is here. In math, we understand math by giving an example. Example, find the distance. Find the distance between point 
point A, which is a uh, point A, which is 60 degrees north, comma, 120 degrees east, and and B, which is a uh, 60 degrees north, comma, and 60 degrees west. So we are looking for that distance in kilometers. Now, what do we do? Now we are going to position these points on the earth. We are going to put these points on the earth. Let's say point A is uh, somewhere here. I'm going to draw the, the globe with the help of the diagram I have here. So I'm going to draw this. I have it there. Now, the other one is uh, this. Oh, another point. Let me use a different color here. So, the other one is here. Okay, you can see, class, I've drawn the two points there. So let me find the, the distance between the two. So I want to find the distance between the two points here. So the other one was like this. So what we do here, we write, we write this is point A, this point A, if this latitude is 60 degrees north, and then this latitude here is 60 degrees west, and this other one here, this latitude is 120 degrees east, now, well, we can have a point A here. Point A, we have point B. So, we can have this point uh, A and the point B will be here. Now, the question is this. How do we find this distance between them? The two points, point A and point B. So if you can subtend an angle to the center. Of the circle now. I'm going to have. I'm going to have something that looks like this. This was the small circle. The small circle that's what I have there. Then now. Those points are moving like this. There we are now. We are going to have this point B, this point A. Now, what is this angle? How do we find this angle? This angle is found by the longitude difference, whereby this is uh, 60 degrees west, and the other one is 120 degrees. So you will get, uh, when it is west and east, you add the two angles, so this one becomes 180 degrees. That's what we have. Now, what we are asked is this arc length. This arc length is what we are asking for. As you can see, this is not a complete circle. Therefore, we are going to modify our formula. This formula will be modified. This is just the arc length. So circumference will be equals to theta over 360, 2 pi, 2 pi, 2 pi r 
cosine, cosine of the latitude. That's what we get. Now, uh, our arc length, our arc length here, let us call this one C, our arc length C will be 180 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 as pi times the radius of the earth, which is 6370 cosine, cosine of latitude, which is cosine 60. So this one here, our C, the arc length will become 10, 10 kilometers. So this is the answer, kilometers. Now, <coughs> I want to have a summary of what we have learned. It's about how do you calculate the distance between two points of the small circle. Remember that was our objective. So we, are, we, we saw that when you are finding the distance along the small circle, we use this formula. But now, since the points are not covering the whole circle, we have modified this formula to this one. So this is the formula that we will be using mostly when we are calculating the distance between two points along the small circle, along the small circle. So those that's a very important concept. I want all of us to understand how we calculate the distance between the two points along the small circle. So I have the summary here. I have a summary of what we have been learning here. Uh, kindly remember this is chapter six of form four work. So the summary, we have the summary. So distance along the small circle is equals to theta, whereby theta we are going to explain down here what is theta, theta over 360 times 2 pi r cosine of the latitude angle, where theta is the angle subtended at the center by the arc of two points, and then the r is the radius of the arc. Radius of the arc is 6370. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. Kindly, you can subscribe on my channel so that uh, I keep notifying you next time I upload another video in the YouTube. Thank you so much and uh, have a nice day. See you next time when I...